Hi, my name is Casey Hurd. This is my current admissions video. So first, my goals and objectives in getting a math PhD are I'd like to be able to sort of develop and refine my mathematical knowledge and sort of reach that those highest levels of math. And then second, I'd like to take those high levels of math and have the chance to apply them to a lot of different areas. So in particular, a couple of areas I find interesting, you know, I, I, I like to apply to finance, uh, second to sort of biology, and particularly oncology. I think there are a lot of interesting, there's a lot of interesting work being done applying mathematical models to cancer research. Um, and second, algorithms in sort of sociology and you know, social media. So one question in particular I think is interesting is this attempt to use algorithms to separate, you know, truth from lie and, you know, objectively judge truth using some algorithm. Uh, so second, why specifically do I want to do this at Courant? Uh, so, you know, it's a very prestigious university, so there will be a lot of people there with whom I can collaborate both in math and in different fields to which I might apply math. And we can sort of, and this be very bright people, you know, so there'll be a lot of opportunities for collaboration in different areas of application that I can really take advantage of at this university. And second, just in the locations, you know, in New York, you know, it's, it's a huge city, it's a, a cultural phenomenon. So there'll be lots of people and lots of industry connections around. They'll provide other opportunities to collaborate and, you know, find different applications. And also, that's my goal after, you know, achieving the PhD would be to go on into industry. So there'll be, there'll be ways in New York to sort of find opportunities to do that. So finally, a theorem in math that I find especially interesting. Uh, you know, I, I really appreciate these this concept of different levels of infinity, something I find very interesting. So a crucial theorem for that is here we have Cantor's theorem, which uh, describes that, which says that for any set A, the cardinality of that set has to be less than the cardinality of its power set. And what's so interesting about this theorem is that it seems very abstract and you're describing levels of infinity, but it's actually very simple to prove. And so we do that by first showing that you can, you can establish an injection between any set A and its power set, which is simple. You just take the singleton of each element. And that you can't have any surjection from the set to its power set, which is a very interesting trick. So we assume that there is a surjection. And then we consider the set S of all elements in A such that that element is not in its own mapping. And so this is a set of elements of A, so it must be a subset of A, so it must be in the power set. So there must be some element in A which produces, which its mapping is this set S. So then we develop this contradiction where that element, which we call X here, must both be in the set and not in the set. So we end up with this statement here. And another thing that Cantor did is he had this continuum hypothesis, which is also very interesting, saying that there cannot be any set with cardinality between that of the natural numbers and the real numbers. And that's just one hypothesis I think would be very interesting to see someone develop a proof for. So thank you for your time.